Hey, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're diving into the world of Gridfinity, the ultimate organizing system for DIY enthusiasts. There are already tons of ready-to-print models you can download. But what do you do when you need a container perfectly customized to your needs? Like me, I needed a container to hold my pliers. So I thought, why not make my own? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Let's start with my parametric Gridfinity base. The great thing about this file is that I can adjust the size of the box's base to fit exactly what I need. If you want to try it out, there's a link to the file in the description below. Changing the dimensions is super easy. Go to Modify and click Change Parameters. Here you can adjust the number of rows and columns. For this project, I'll go with two rows and five columns, perfect for my pliers. Next step, take a picture of the item you're designing for. In my case, that's the pliers. Pro tip, place a ruler next to it in the picture. We'll use the ruler to calibrate the image in Fusion later. To bring your picture into Fusion, just do this. Go to Insert and select Canvas. Choose your picture and place it in your workspace. Roughly place it on Gridfinity bottom. Right click on the image file and hit Calibrate. Then you want to zoom in and mark to spots on the spots on the ruler. I do 188 and 188 and tell Fusion that the dimension of that is 10 mm. Fusion will then resize the image for you. If needed, hit Edit Canvas and move it around to where you want it on the bottom. All right. Now that we've positioned the canvas exactly where we want it, it's time to draw the outline for our tool. To keep things neat, I like to draw the outline on a new construction plane. Here's how to do it. Go to Construct and create a plane at the top of the Gridfinity base. Once it's in place, hit OK. Now, let's get to drawing. First, we'll project the bottom surface of the container onto our new construction plane. This makes it super easy to align everything. Hit P on your keyboard to open the project tool. Set the selection filter to body. Click on the bottom part of the container. Make sure projection link is checked. This way, if you ever resize the base, the projection will automatically update too. Now for the fun part, drawing the outline. I like using the fit point spline tool because it gives me more control over curves. Just trace around the part you're designing for until you're happy with the shape. When the outline looks good, we're going to offset it. Why? To make sure the fit isn't too snug. I like to go with a 2mm offset, but feel free to adjust this depending on your project. Now all that's left due to is to extrude the outside of our drawing. My tool is 18mm deep. You can also add some circles for making the tool easier to grab. I usually go for 22 from a 9mm and just cut it away using the extrude tool. Now just export it and open it in your slicer and your new Gridfinity toolbox should be ready in a couple of hours. If you're as excited as I am about organising everything, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more.